Mmm... Auk, listen. I know you are eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancient inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them three temples here in the Land of Gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide, shattered the lands, and left us with islands in the sky. The priestess, Kara. Pray hey, Kara. <laughs> hey, Kara. The priestess, Kara, prayed by the lighthouse and found answers that helped our people survive the Great Cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go on in, Auk. I will wait for you outside. Welcome to Lurbrow Gaming, my name is Lars, and this is the first episode of Air, Memories of Old, by Forgotten Key, who were kind enough to give me a key for this game. Maybe this is one they remembered that they had. I do enjoy this art style, although I feel like it's a bit too low poly, particularly in the, in the clothes. That's just like my initial reaction. But I do like, do like it when game devs go a bit more impressionist. It's a bit jittery, but, you know, it looks great, apart from that. Yeah, a little bit jittery. Let's hope that improves. It's not very smooth, is it? So what do I know about this game? I don't really know anything. Read. This tablet is really worn. Part of the text is unreadable. In the land of gods there were three. In three houses, slumbering in eternal skies. Okay. Platforming. Oh, this jittering is not great. Let's see if we can do something about that. Video, full screen. Let's turn VSync off. Maybe that helps. Let's try that. Resume. Yes. That fixed everything. Okay, so we fell down. <laughs> That's all right. Let's try to do a bit more platforming up there. Huh. Huh. Hey, so this is Alk that I'm guessing. So yeah, Forgotten Key, Swedish game developer, I think. Neighbors to the east. I'm Norwegian, in case you didn't know. Uh, the memory of light in our heart, shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the world shattered and we became the people of the sky. The people of the sky! I know that you can do a lot of flying around in this game. I wonder how. I'm sure we're going to be told very soon. For now, let's explore this cavern a bit. There's another tablet. There's a bridge. And this is where we came from? Or is it not? Ah, oh, it's just, just a different way to get up here. That's where we came from, back there. All right. Enter the Hall of Memory, where sleeps the light of Kara. It never went out while she was alive. Ask, and maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Cool. Wow. Pretty cool. So then, game engine? Do you think they made their own? Or is this another Unreal Engine game? Or is it Unity? Who's to say? Hello, Kara. Approach. Light some incense. Say a little prayer. And then the light shines for you. How about that? How very unexpected. Grab it. Grab it. Boom. 
Okay, where are we now? Oh. That's cool. I'm hoping this game has puzzles. Oh. Oh, what have you done, Alk? You've destroyed this place now. Okay, these people are all ghosts. Seems we can't go back the way we came. Let's follow the light. Oh. Okay. Can we try to jump across? <sighs> nope. Can't do that. Let's follow the logical way to go through. The lit path. Okay, water. Oh. I, mean, I don't really feel like we're in a hurry. It's not like this cave collapsing is going to actually collapse on us. I just feel like everything is being triggered as we go along. So, I'm not really feeling stressed or pressured. I hope these lanterns will burn long enough to guide the young pilgrim. Okay. Ghosts are speaking. Can I step onto it? I want to like climb onto the pillar of things, but no. No. All right. Getting narrow. And here's our exit. The light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. We have an overhead compass. We have some symbols. And we have an old man. Auk, you made it out okay. Thank the gods you're all right. What's happened in there? I thought the worst when the cave collapsed. Is that the lantern? Hmm, strange. That lantern is an ancient artifact called Kara's light. Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Daina when you arrive. She will tell you where to go next. Okay. When jumping, press X to transform. Uh, yeah, I should probably say I'm playing with my uh, DualShock 4 controller, or PlayStation controller, if you will. So that's why X's and triangles and stuff are showing up. So we press triangle to get the map. And that's the map, and I guess this is the world. Or at least this area of the world. So let's try to transform. Hey, flying! Flapping? <laughs> like the little banjo music. Can bank left or right with these. And and to free look camera with wait. Alright. Reset chase camera with the L1 and R1. Okay. This is great. Ah, can we do a little barrel roll? No. Can't. Ah, that's a disappointment. Okay. Let's go exploring. I'm guessing these streaks of light probably show us the way to go, right? Don't you think? Okay, banking and flapping at the same time is not possible. We diving! Alright, we can probably not do a loop either. No, we can only climb and dive. Okay, here's a kite. So let's go check that out. Woo! Okay, fall damage, not a thing. So that's all right. Here's our little village. This little sign says squiggly beep. AKA nothing at all. Hey there, people. Who are you? Hello, Auk, and welcome. What was that noise we heard? What? You made it out okay? I'm John, by the way. Dana and I take care of the lighthouse here on the island. 
We try to make sure that nothing weird happens in the Land of Gods. Not an easy job considering all the strange old ruins and wonders here. I haven't had much time to visit them since Eren was born, but I don't mind. I think she longs for adventure which makes her father proud. If you have the time, I would recommend you to go to the Windsong Falls. When the world was whole, a water spirit combed, combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful hair at that. The wind sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds, thus the rainbow was born. Not that I've ever seen one there myself, but it's a nice story. Anyway, you can find the place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. Quest received. Very expositional dialogue, but you know, adventure games and whatnot. I'll give him that. Hey there, child. Auk, Auk, that's your name, right? Right? What happened? Did you see any ghosts or spirit animals, treasures, secrets? I want to explore too. It's so unfair that I'm stuck on this island. Sometimes I go on adventures with my parents, but it's still adventures. We once went to a super awesome place. It's up north. It's kind of snowy with this huge statue. It's kind of broken, but still cool. And my name is Erin, so you know. Okay, so that's Erin. You are right, Auk. It was Auk, right? We heard rumblings from Kara's shrine. I'm so glad you made it out. My name is Dana, and welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Medvin, was actually the last one before you. My parents helped him back then. Now I, John, and our daughter Erin will help you. If you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We are here to guide you, after all. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the Land of Gods. Kara sealed them a long time ago, right after the Great Divide. There's a sigil in the ground close to each temple. That's where we gather to pay respect to the spirits, and so you too should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach with an open mind. The Eventide Sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. Good to know. And this is where you live then? It looks a bit drafty. Let's hope the temperature's high enough for you to live here in peace and prosper. Can we go into this tent? We cannot. Solid as a rock. Kind of looks like a rock. A pink one. Okay. Uh, hey there, little llama. No, it's a sheep. <laughs> I thought it looked like a llama with this little long neck. But yeah, it's a sheep. My bad. Oh, murals. Let's have a look. Does it say anything? That's a bird. And that's a shrine. And that's a thing. What do we got up here? Platform. Just fly around. Woo! Okay, that pop music thing might... Oh, get a little old. I like it without the drum beat, please. Okay, floating rocks. What do we got? What's this? Is this a shrine? Examine. This must be the lighthouse. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. I should come back here later. Okay. Lighthouse. Um, let's have a look at the map then, shall we? To the north, they said, and to the northwest. Well, the northwest seems to be closed off and in closer proximity, so let's try northwest first. And then see what we're in for. Okay, so there's a little island over there. Maybe that's what we're looking for. What about these clouds? Can we go through them? Yes, we can. Whoa! There we go. Huge group of islands. Flapping our wings. Enjoying ourselves. Still can't do barrel rolls. All right, Twilight Lake. Map. This is Twilight Lake. Okay, and there's something on the biggest island. Over there, okay. That's a lot of water to just come from nowhere. Because it's not raining or anything. Now, I don't see a river <laughs> pouring into this lake. I mean, I should stop just being too cynical in terms of logic and stuff, but I do pay attention to these kinds of things sometimes. Game logic and so on. This is cool looking. So what do you do? Can we examine you? Or do anything? 
Okay, sun and moon, I'm guessing. Okay, let's see. Uh, they said something about close to them. So if we, oh yeah, read. Hope for our people was restored by the wisdom of her words and the refuge she gave us. The spirit animals helped her hide the way in, behind falling waves marked by sun and moon in the close northeast. That's a puzzle for you. Okay, we, yeah, we already read that. I was gonna jump, not read. That's what happens when you have uh, one button for several activities, as it were. Okay, so we go northeast then. Flap, flap, flap to the close northeast. I hear something sparkling. Okay, what do we find over here? Nothing at all. Oh, maybe this is it. Read. My brother stayed to guard the lighthouse and I volunteered to join him in his duty. I shall guard the land and its animals, even if I do not understand why the priestess wants us to stand guard. Are the gods truly sleeping in this land and we are to guard them? But why then are they asleep? Can gods even sleep? I think this is just a story for children. The gods are long gone from our world and, and the lands now belong to the spirits and the animals. But names stay longer than the memory of a face. Mm-hmm. It's a cool creature. And this as well. Um, pleased that they're not waking up. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong button. Square to flap. So then, more pools. North, east. Oh, I get it. The the music, the music escalates with my speed, and the music also seems to change depending on region. No, nope, it does not. Oh, can we thread the needle? Whee! Excellent. Okay, here's another one. What do we have? Bird. Okay. So if I stand here... And then... Ah, light the lantern, of course. Use. Okay, so that's the, the moon. So I've activated this, and that's it. Now it's shining towards this. Okay, let's go over there then. Figure out what's going on over here. There we go, that's the moon. Just trying to, uh, trying to break anything behind the waterfall. Nothing behind the waterfall. Okay, so the moon is drawing its power from over there. Which means the sun is coming from over there somewhere. Maybe that's the place. I mean, it does have a shining beacon, so maybe that's a giveaway. There we are. A little landing strip and everything. Use. And here's our sun. I mean, not our child. Just the... The actual sun. Ah, there we go. There was something behind the waterfall. Let's go find out what exactly. But firstly, that's a double needle of threading and there's also wind going through it. So let's go through here. Wee hee hee! Oh wow. Okay, so the, the wind provides a speed boost. That's good to know. Let's go into this here temple, shall we? Into the darkness. Thank you so much for watching this first episode of Air, Memories of Old. If you like this video, there's tons of other stuff for you to check out on our channel. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next week.